Now, meanwhile, it's a long way from Los Angeles where the Oscars are being held to New York. More than 4,000 kilometres by road. Dutch mental health advocate and army veteran Anton Nuttenboom is currently walking between the cities and if that wasn't tough enough, he's doing every single step barefoot. He's now 23 days into the walk. It's raising money for men's mental health charities. And Anton joins us now from somewhere, somewhere between or near Las Vegas. Anton, good morning. Did you tell us exactly where you are? Good morning. Well, I'm kind of wondering myself as well. I'm definitely in a desert, but I'm I'm a little bit short of the town called um, uh, Over Barstow and before Baker. Right. And my next question yeah. is, how are the feet holding up? Uh, they're struggling, that's for sure. <laughs> um, it's funny, I, I've done this walk once before in Australia, and I must have forgotten how painful it is because day 23 and it's very painful again. Right. So um, how do you... But that's, yeah, I'm assuming blisters and the like. How, how, how do you deal with uh, the pain as you uh, try to reach this goal? Uh, I know at some point I just can accept it for what it is. And that's the beauty of this. You, you can show like a certain mindset. The pain is not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay there until I hit the finish line in New York. But you can you know, uh, kind of accept the pain for what it is and then work with it instead of against it. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm definitely still complaining and whinging every now and then. But at the same time... You know, going through that as well, knowing I can, I can deal with this. I can take this. And and you're doing it. You're you're enduring this pain, Anton. For as we mentioned, a very good reason. Now, t tell us what is driving this walk. Uh, so it's to raise awareness and funds for men's mental health. And and men's mental health has become a very big issue all around the world. Uh, I know in Australia, it's the number one cause of death for men from the age of 15 to 45. And you hardly. Uh, hear anyone talk about it and it regards everyone um and there's a lot of men that still feel unsafe to speak up whenever they are in need you know we have this all belief uh you know showing emotion and vulnerability is a weakness and i want to show the opposite is true it's courageous and we just need to speak up a little bit more so we can stop these high numbers in depression and suicide and, and good on you for doing this as you mentioned anton you've done a similar walk in australia uh tell us about walking barefoot to the base camp of mount everest too a, a fantastic achievement yeah that was uh, how it all started that's uh, that's how i became you know the barefoot dutchman uh, i was just coming out of my own mental health chapter i was in the army for a long time i wanted to physically and mentally challenge myself again and use that momentum to raise and fun, uh, raise funds for you know people that are less fortunate. Uh, I ended up going to base camp of my Everest, becoming the first one ever to do that barefoot. And that's when I realized, you know, I got something here. It's as simple as using my two bare feet and willpower that, you know, creates a, ch a change for someone else. And I need to keep using this. Anton Newtonboom, listen, go well. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll achieve your goal. If people watching this here in Australia want, want to help out, want to contribute to your mental health uh, fundraising efforts, how, how can they do that? Uh, they can either go to the website bravementalk.com or go to my socials to follow the journey. Uh, that's called at the Barefoot Dutchman. Fantastic. Anton, all the best. Good luck with those blisters. And we truly wish you all the best as you continue your walk Thank you across America. Thank you.